Hey guys, so I've got an interesting one for you today. The difference between an Android head unit and an Android auto based head unit. So I've got these two head units here which I've chosen for this video. I've got an Atoto Android Auto and an Apple CarPlay based radio and an Extron's Android head unit. Now the reason why I've chosen these two particular radios is because they're a good price for a good brand and they're packed full of features. So the Atoto is about £160 for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and the Extron's unit is around £180 for the Android based operating system on it. Now this question actually comes up quite a lot. There's a lot of people who are navigating the world of car head units. They want to utilize smart features of a head unit, but they don't know whether or not to buy an Android based head unit or a Android and Apple CarPlay based unit. So what's the difference? Well, the fundamental difference is this. An Android based head unit is a tablet with a built-in car amplifier and a built-in FM receiver. So it's effectively a computer in your car which is connected to your speakers. And the benefit of that is that you can install whatever you want on it. You can install Netflix, you can install YouTube, as well as the usual apps like Spotify and Waze. The other thing about it is that it doesn't need to be connected to your phone. So once you've installed Spotify and you've downloaded your tracks and you've installed Google Maps or TomTom Tom and you've downloaded the maps for those, you don't need it to be online anymore. So you get in your car, you switch on your ignition, the radio is going to come on, all your music is going to be there, your navigation app is going to be there, you're ready to go. And it's as simple as that. Also you get lots of customizability with it. So it does give you a lot of options and it's it's great for people who have their own car no one else drives it and they just want something that looks as stock as possible that's going to give you all of the um, different features that you want now the thing with an android radio is that specification is a big thing because you're installing apps on it okay and apps have minimum requirements of hardware specification so when you buy an android unit you need to consider the amount of memory and, and the processor that it has on it and i actually have another video which explains all of this uh, so that you can make sure that you don't buy a rubbish android car radio so what's the difference with android auto well with Android Auto, you don't need to worry about specification because the whole point of Android Auto is that it streams the applications from your phone. So what does this mean? So you need to have your phone connected to it. And when you do that, specific apps that are compatible with Android Auto on your phone will become available on the head unit. So there's some restrictions here. YouTube and Netflix and anything that isn't car related is not going to be compatible with Android Auto. But a lot of people aren't interested in that. They just want to have their music and, and navigation. And if that's all that you want, Android Auto will be perfect for you because as soon as you've connected it to your phone, you're going to have access to whatever navigation app that you had installed on your phone. So if you've got TomTom on your phone, TomTom is going to be on there if you've got Waze, if you've got Google Maps, all of that is going to be available right here on the head unit, as long as your phone is connected. There's another benefit of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and that is that because they stream from your phone, if you share your car with your partner, when you're driving the car, you can have your phone plugged in and have your apps and your music, and when they're driving the car, they can plug their phone in and get their music and their navigation apps. Or if they don't like the music that you're listening to, they can unplug your phone and plug their phone in and get their own music. So it's very universal. Car manufacturers are now including Android Auto in the stock head units of modern cars. And it's exactly the same as what's in these head units. So the actual display, the way that you access the apps, everything is identical in any car which has Android Auto. So you can just plug and go. But again, the customizability of these head units tends to be less. That being said, you do get Android head units which have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay built into them. 
and that kind of gives you the best of both worlds. You can customize your dashboard and you can have your head unit looking however you want to have it. Um, and then if your partner's driving, they can plug their phone in and they can have their Android Auto and music and such. So you can sort of mix and match. I mean, personally, I wouldn't buy an Android head unit if you're just gonna use Android Auto, unless that head unit is a very good price and it's the best way for you to get Android Auto, then yes, you do it that way. But if you've got Android on the head unit, I would customize it and utilize it how you wish. So, in a nutshell, Android is a computer, you install all your apps onto it, you download your music and your, your navigation, and you use it as is. It doesn't need your phone. Android Auto streams from your phone. It requires you to have your phone attached because it is using all the apps that are currently installed on this. 